just a bit. Ocean freight rates are surging. That is one of the largest shipping companies in the world is extending its pause on travel through the Red Sea. Maersk, which is headquartered in Denmark, says it will not restart shipments through the Red Sea after Yemen-based militants tried to board a Maersk ship last week. But this isn't the first incident. The U.S. Central Command reports there have been 24 attacks against merchant ships in the Southern Red Sea since mid-November. Dan Bossi of Ag Resorts Company says the shipping issues in the area are a big concern for agriculture and for Ukrainian exports. A lot of that Ukrainian corn heading to Southeast Asia will go through there. And so as the price of insurance, as the difficulty in, in moving freight through that part of the world uh, increases with the spreading tensions in the Mideast, they are now forced to go around the Horn of Africa. This is raising uh, freight costs by about $20 a ton. And Ukraine was just getting that corridor working, and now they're fighting with this. Now, he says while it's causing chaos in the Red Sea, it could be a positive for the U.S. market as U.S. corn may be needed to replace that Ukrainian business. Is it